always been a logical and curious kind of person. I mean, that's just my personality. I remember when I was little, my parents gave me an electric train for Christmas. And then a couple hours later, my dad finds me in the garage and I'm throwing the locomotive against the cement floor, trying to break it open. He said, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm just trying to figure out how it works. I mean, my parents, because of all the why questions I would ask, finally went out and said, here, and they bought me an encyclopedia and said, look, the answers are in there. Go look for them. Go find them yourself. I mean, that's just the way I was. And so I guess it's natural that I would become a journalist because journalists are looking for facts. They're looking for evidence. They're looking for data. They're looking for something that they can publish in the paper and have confidence it is true. Lee Strobel earned a Master of Studies in Law degree from Yale Law School and is the former legal editor of the Chicago Tribune. He is the best-selling author of several books that explore the evidence for the Christian faith. I guess given uh, my curiosity, it's not surprising that when I was in high school, science was my favorite topic because there the teachers actually encouraged me to like cut open frogs and find out how things work, which I thought was great. When I was a teenager, I had this deep trust in science. And I think part of it was prompted by the fact that I grew up in post Sputnik America where Eisenhower encouraged all young people to delve into science so we could catch up with the Russians. So to me, science sort of represented the empirical, the hard facts, the things that could be proven experimentally. And that was sort of the way in which I looked at life. I thought people who had faith, people who believed in supernatural things like God, I saw that as a sign of weakness because, you know, do you have any data to back that up? 